The first thing you need to set up a drum set is an open space in an open room. Next, I would put some type of a mat or rug down to protect the floor if you don't have carpet already. Smooth it out. Next, grab the drum throne and place it upside down. Find the wing nut and unscrew it. This is gonna be the first place that we start with setting up the kit, cause that's where we'll be sitting. So it sounds like a good place to start for me. Make sure it's totally stable and firm and you're well supported on the throne. Tighten it really well. When you're done, put it in the center of the rug. Next, grab the snare stand. You want the snare stand to be directly in front of you, just at the same height as your legs, just inside your legs. Same deal for all hardware, it's gotta be secure. Okay, that looks great. Next, grab the snare drum, and you'll see the strainer on the left here. You can put that wherever you want. I suggest putting it on the left and lining it up directly in front of you. And here's the drummer's perspective. Next, we're going to add the rack tom. I use a second snare stand for my rack tom so that it resonates more freely. We want the rim on the rubber to get the best resonance for the drum. Face it towards you in a direct line. It should be thrown, snare, rack tom, totally straight in front of you. Here's the view from the side. Next, we're going to add the bass drum. You want to unfold the legs of the bass drum and set them evenly and firmly so that the drum is not touching the ground. And here's what it should look like so far. Now it's time to attach the kick pedal. Take the kick pedal and attach it to the bottom lip of the bass drum. You may need to tighten it with a drum key or a screw to make sure it's fastened securely and doesn't move. Next, we're going to set up the hi-hat stand. As with all hardware, open the screw and press it firmly into the ground. It needs to be secure so it's not going to move and you're able to stay balanced. So press down and make sure it's secure and tighten it firmly. Here is the top-down drummer's perspective. Nothing is uncomfortable. We want to be as comfortable as possible. Now it's time to add the floor tom. My floor tom uses a hanging suspension mount, and that's what we are connecting here. Most floor toms have three legs that you can set the height accordingly. I recommend setting it to the same height as the snare, and to have just enough space so that your leg fits between the snare and the floor tom. You want it to be level with the snare and not too far away so you can reach it. Here is the side view so you can see the floor tom is level with the snare. And here is the top down. Next we are going to add the main ride cymbal stand. Here we can see the legs have been opened a little bit too far. You want to pull it up and use the double bracing to get better support for your stand. The last thing you want is it toppling over while you're playing. Place the ride cymbal on the plastic holder. You want to be able to reach the cymbal easily, but you don't want it in the path of the drums themselves. Next, we will set up the secondary crash cymbal. This is an ideal height to set the bracing for your cymbal stands. Remove the screw, get your cymbal, place it on the felt. Same deal here, we don't want the cymbal in the path of the drums, but we want it to be as close as possible where we can still reach it easily. With hi-hats, there is the bottom hat, and that is usually marked on the hi-hat itself. And now we will attach the clutch to the top hi-hat. 
Remove the bottom wing nut from the clutch and place the screw through the top hi-hat with a felt on top. Then grab another felt to sandwich it safely. Then grab the wing nut and tighten it as securely as possible. We will then turn the symbol over and place it through the rod on the hi-hat stand. You want to leave about an inch or so between the hi-hat symbols and then tighten the screw on the clutch. That's going to allow the pedal to work effectively on the left foot. That is our final piece in the drum set. Here is the top down perspective. Here is the drummer's perspective from left to right. 